You know, it is kind of interesting that the save point we've last saved is described as pseudo to suedo. I don't know why it's interesting, I just reckon it is. We are on the cusp of leveling up to level 50, we are not quite there yet. Um, here we got the rooftop gardens, of course. Come along, golem. I could probably do just fine without it. But also, I would like to have it around. Just to feel a bit safer. We still have that hunting contract. We could also technically see what's at the bottom of the Tower of Reason. For there is um, kind of a lot. Uh, putting it lightly. Last time I said we were not ready for it. We might be ready for it now. But I can't say for sure. Uh, you, you will see what I mean. You will see. So let's take out those dudes. We'll try to at very least very slowly. There we go. Superior Bug Knight Shield. Well, as always, we can sell it. So this is the Tower of Reason. I completely somehow missed those two chests. It's an artisan cursed rod. And a superior Mordegana. I don't think there is anything else down here, is there? I mean, of course I can go down here and... Was there a pentagram here at some point? Maybe? I don't remember. And I can go down... Where does this lead? Oh Jesus, Temple of Hate. That doesn't sound like a nice place. <laughs> but sure, let's get ourselves distracted by that. For a Temple of Hate it has oddly chill music. But that's okay. <clears throat> so what could have possibly happened to make this temple so hateful? I don't know. Matter of fact, it doesn't even seem that hateful to me. It seems most of all fairly empty. I suppose there are some critters around here. How scary they are, I don't know. But they are guarding stuff. Like this anti-magic crystal, and the thousander, and the 650, and what's ever tucked away in the corner here. 8,000, sure, nice. And is that the entire temple? I don't mind. Sure, let's plunder it and then leave again. It's okay by me. It's just, uh, I didn't expect it to be quite that pointless. Seriously? Not even a boss fight. Fine, well, glad we've been here. If only so we can go out again. And this is where we came from. Yeah, I think I got a pretty good idea of this whole area. And I think there really is nothing here beside the entry to the Tower of Reason and the Steam Door there. I guess let's head back to the save point, just to save what we've got. Go away. You're lame.
Very lame indeed. Knocked down. Without even using anything specifically for that purpose. A victory. So as I was saying... Save and then back to the tower it is. It really is kind of odd that there is not a single fast travel point in this area. I don't know, it just kind of throws me off. Like, there are plenty of those little shortcuts. This one, for example, that I don't think is worth using, considering we're still... ...looking for something on one of the other levels. On one of the upper ones, that is. Huh, wherever that would be. You know, compared to the Divine Tower, this place sure looks very empty. And very, um... Oh, there it is. You look unique. <clears throat> I don't know. Why do you? Damn. It's not that ugly, come on. Uh, kinda. So, what are we gonna do? We try to send it. We try to asset it. Set it on fire and try if we can paralyze it. Then we see if we can knock it down. Hamstring it and toxify it. He ain't knocked down, is he? No, he doesn't let himself be knocked down that easily. But that is just fair. Now he's knocked down. And now he'll be dead. Easy. Still no level up, but still. That is over. Let's do that. Leave me alone, I just got done with something. Whatever. Man, they're so hard to see in front of the background. There we go, back to the Hunter's Guild it is. Allegedly, they're gonna have more quests. Unless, of course, that turns out to be future content. And if it does, well, that's just fine then. It's not like we are running out of things to do just yet. If we do, we can always go to the hotel. Which I'm aware I'm kind of hyping up at this point. But, um... I still don't quite know what to make of it. I did some... off-screen expeditions into it, after which I didn't save. And, um... It is a silly place. Though talking about silly places, we might go down to the bottom of the Tower of Reason first. You know, we might. For now it's the Hunter's Guild. 
Yeah, back to pseudo pseudo hell. Considering we don't yet have a reason to be in pseudo hell. Which of course is what the Tower of Reason leads down to. Well, fast travel points not too far away. As always, we're going to go to the Hunter's Guild through the sewers, considering I still don't know what the regular way to get there is. <laughs> and when I say I don't know, I mean, I have the basic idea. I just don't trust myself to actually find my way there. You know, the craziest thing is, at almost the very beginning of the game, we got a quest by that one guy to find a succubus. And we still haven't met anything remotely resembling a succubus after like 40 hours of playing this game. I have no idea where one's supposed to be. I'm gonna be very honest here. I'm not sure if that quest even is finishable. I mean, it gotta be. It ought to. Anywho, done with this. The Venom Rex is dead. Yes, give me money. Thank you. Still a good amount of money at this point. So what is next? The Five Country of Strange Tar is named Hopeless Romantic. Uh, okay. Well... Aren't we all hopeless romantics around here? No, I can't really claim to be one. <laughs> like, not sincerely. A strange target named the Hopeless Romantic. A ghost bar in Island of Sand. Oh. And ghost bar on Island of Sand. And go there, bring him to justice. Bring him to justice. Hope this romantic. That does not sound too R U R. No, it does sound pretty U R. How does he know? Well, he does seem to be educated. But he does not want to elaborate on that, so fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, fine by me. Hello, you are actually a merchant, although not the one who has anything to sell at this point, even then. We used to close down the hollows, if you say so. Weren't we also supposed to tell people around here about... Mm -hmm, I know. I know. Uh, tell them about the dead hunter in the mines? No? Apparently not. Apparently not. There is one more thing I would really like to find in the woods. I just don't have much of an idea where to look for it. It's sort of tucked away in a corner somewhere. And it would be very interesting if you found it because... It's something I would rather do before going into ho the hotel for the first time. But again, I'm not sure where it was. Other than, you know, somewhere in the woods and describes 80% of this game's world map. Well, that is not quite true. 80% of this game's overworld world map, I should probably say. Of course, I remember there's also a locked door in the... Uh, the Mesra Temple. That you need... 20 puzzle pieces for, which I'm, like... Aggravatingly close to. But aggravatingly close doesn't mean quite there. You know what I'm saying? And I am not quite there. This goes where the devil for... No, not yet. Oh dear lord, there is so much forest. It 
it's an environmentalist stream. There are even some unopened chests around here. Look at that. Absolutely peanuts in there. But nevertheless... I'm sure there was something here at some point. One might imagine a pentagram or something. Okay. Well, I guess... Just strolling through the woods and hoping to find something on random is not the most efficient way to look for something. I suppose I will admit that. But you know, it gives us a nice little excuse to go for a walk, maybe go to some places we haven't thoroughly explored yet. As to some extent, I still think we are only kind of scratching the surface. In terms of seeing everything, this goes to an empty chest or something. Yeah. I kind of remember this passageway, but also I don't really. Was this the way to that one tree? I don't know where this way leads. It leads somewhere. <laughs> I have some confidence in that. Yeah, then there was this place with the chest in it and some really dense woods. Which, if you go west, leads somewhere, apparently. Yeah, leave me. But we don't, we haven't been here yet. That seems fairly clear. Or if we have, we haven't explored this area much. Enemies are even still kind of aggressive. Well... Well, kinda. Not very, actually. But no, it does seem to be a part of the woods we haven't been much. If at all. Okay, no, there's an open chest there. And there is a way north here, which should lead to, like, the mines or something. And a safe point here. Which, this leads to the tree with the seeds, right? No, it leads to Western Ocean. But that is a place I'm fairly sure we have explored somewhat thoroughly. Very well then. <clears throat> I mean, I do think the place I was looking for should be somewhat good. Have we ever done whatever this is? Um, hello? There is a temple of blood here? 
Oh yeah, no, which we definitely finished. What's with that empty little house right next to it? I don't know. Yeah, and that's basically all I can tell you. I don't know. There's this statue that sells rings. Not even bad ones, but I also don't really need one. Close chests. 61 gold. No, I don't wanna. What the hell even are you? I don't care. Jakai, Blood Puppet, a zombie behemoth. Sounds about right. Oh, come on, just let me flee. But no point going on a wild goose chase. I say, I, I don't know, I just can't stop myself. It just irks me when I'm unable to find something that I know is somewhere nearby. Like perhaps even somewhere here in those really dense woods. But no, I think I got most of what's here. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. I don't wanna and I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm going to kill this single bear. I don't care. <laughs> ah, no point to it. Let's just head to Ghost Town. Should be... Just south of here. How are you doing? Thank you. You too. Like I said, just south of here. This is where... This... oh, there's still a chest here. Which turns out to be a Mimic, but whatever. Let's kill the Mimic. Easy. Yeah, you prepare some carbon. 
I'm gonna prepare your doom. Okay. Uh, let's try to knock it down. Poison strike it. Surely, try for an impale. And that should take that out. Meanwhile, we can leg shoot this thing. The mimic in one strike. The pacifists. Yeah, that's what they call me. Like, not around here, obviously. But there are places where they call me that, believe me. Small healing potion. And if I go to the west of here... get to this mysterious place. Thirty-four gold and... This random path to an... to a statue. Wooden ocean, superior wooden ocean, elite wooden ocean. I don't use great swords. I don't use blood spears. I don't use rods. That demon scythe looks really good, but I mean, I don't use those either. The magic crystal and magical damage reduction. Interesting. Heavy burden. No. Cloak, Cursed Romans, the Pacifist, Family Shield, Earthring, Dark Ring, Frozen King Ring, Sigil of Royalty, Toxic Armor. Maybe I could put this on Amelia, but I'm not going to do that. Blood Ring. Kind of a cool thing, actually. Artisan Water Blades, but no, I'm not going to use that one either. Red Book Volume 1, interesting. Coral Vein, minus 20% life and mana plus 1, 20% healing received. That is also overly specific, you know? Superior Bug Knight Shield. Artisan Bug Knight Shield. Let's buy one of those. I mean, money is not exactly something we're running out of. And to the south is... Ah, the stonemason's place. And to the west of that is... Oh, this is what I was looking for in the first place. This random bed. Which leads to uh, the Infinite Hotel, for some inexplicable reason. What just happened? Seems we've teleported into a hotel. Who would have thought a random bed in a random part of the forest could do that? Yeah, who could have thought? It, you might say it raises a lot of questions. Yeah, let's go check things out. And there is not much here.
like not very much at all. Just usual hotel stuff. But there is a door we can unlock with the hotel key we have now. But really, all it does is... It leads back to the hotel lobby. Now, in that hotel lobby, there are a few more doors we can open now with that hotel key. For example, that one. And, um... Nice. There are a few things here. For example, um... Hello. Yeah, it's Sam, the guy we killed at the lower catacombs. I don't know. You're the one who was killed. What are you doing here? Do you mean what am I doing here? I'm dead, remember? You killed me. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I know that that's how it works. They put you here, that sucks. Well... That's life for you. Fucking tell me about it. some craziness going on. The elevators don't work. What? I push the button and nothing. Waste of time. Two mile walk and everything. That sucks. So what are you doing here? Still looking for Marcus? Amelia said he is close. It's faint bliss can still smell him. You know anything? Sorry, can't say that I do. But he can offer some help, he says. Came across a bunch of hotel armor, high quality stuff. And that is cool. We can't really afford very much of it. Like, buying Elite Hotel Leather for all of us would be... Nice. I'll say. But, uh, no, like I said, can't afford that. You be safe, Sam. You too. So, yeah, he's a merchant now. We can find him in... Well, the hotel lobby. There's not really much else in this room. Now on the other side of the lobby... There are two more doors. This one... Which last I looked... Yeah... doesn't have anything in it, other than this chest, I guess, with a superior titanium mace, but whatever. But, like, no people are in here. As far as I can tell in all this darkness, but no, I don't think there are any. So this one's mostly empty. Leaving one more. Artisan Decay Armor, which has this silly man in it. Priest. And considering there are a few of those priest models in here, well, priest sprites, I mean. Uh, this is the one from the Katz's Temple, as he will tell us. What are you doing here? Didn't Amelia eat him? Yes. Leave me alone, you monsters. First you ate my wife, then you ate me. Oh my god. <laughs> True, but you're dead now. Life goes on. Nothing, just strolling through. Good, don't leave me be. You don't want to spend another second here, you monsters. Sounds good. Uh, but no. Doesn't sound good. I was supposed to help this guy, yet we killed him. There is no point. Are you being fucking serious? You insist on this man and his wife? You don't feel an ounce of remorse? No, I don't think so. I didn't expect you to. I'm sure they were. Fucking monsters, get out before I throw you out. No. Is there something we can do? Set things right. Something easier than that. Hmm. Got your wife back. Would that change anything? Got my wife back, yeah. Half right. Probably not. Wouldn't, but it would be a start. Something about doing it. Got some connections at nearby Divine Tower. Surely can work something out. Fine then. You need the to still remain silent. Anywhere she might be, none has why I'm here. Divine Tower, I'm certain you'll find something. But this is, as we are told, mm -hmm. 
future content, so not really something we need to bother with right now. And there is not really anything else in this guy's room. Again, it's a nice room, bigger than the average hotel room. But that's about it. And uh, that's about all the uses I have gotten out of the hotel key so far. I mean, if we venture deeper into the hotel, there might be a chance we might find more. But I wouldn't get my hopes up. Again, no, I, I, I can't make any clear statements about what it is that is deeper into the hotel. I have absolutely no clue. Uh, but yeah, so far that is all there is to the hotel key. The one priest that has a quest that hasn't been implemented at this point. There's Sam. And I guess there is that one room we come out of if we sleep in that random bed in the middle of the forest. And that's about it. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it either.